You know, I wish I was a fly on the wall in that locker room <laughs> listening to Reggie Theus's pep talks. Because, you know, we've seen from his media interviews how direct and honest and articulate he is. But, I mean, how does he really psych those players up? Right? We all wonder. I don't know. <laughs> I've never been. So I investigated. I wasn't able to actually sit in on any of the speeches, but I asked the players about their favorite Reggie speeches. What's your favorite Reggie saying? Just go out there and play defense. We're going to win on the defensive end. Don't worry about offense. Offense is going to come. I mean, I listen to Reggie. I mean, everything what he has to say. What he says, he says to the whole team. He, he's, he's just always asking our guys and wanting them to play hard and to play harder. He comes in and saying, hey guys, don't let up. My favorite speech I can't repeat. It was hilarious. I, I never heard nothing like that in my life. Coach got up and had a great speech and uh, he delivered it uh, unbelievably well. Yeah, I, I talked to him about a snake, you know. If you don't feed it, it bites you. You know, if you pet it, he goes, well, I, I fed you, I, I pet you, and I go away for a couple of days, and, and I reach my hand, and then you bite me. And the snake says, what do you expect? I'm a snake. That's what I'm supposed to do. The, the room was just silent, and then Ron Artest said, I, I don't know about you, Coach, but that was the best speech I've ever heard. Because I, I never heard nothing like that in my life. It was a good line. You have to be there. So we know that Reggie is a direct, honest person, but he also uses those metaphors. I don't know if you guys could understand his snake metaphor. I don't know if a lot of the guys could. A lot no, of the players. I don't do snake. No. Actually, I don't said, do snake. Don't do snake. No. They not said, at all. well, I kind of knew where he was going. The snake was a symbol of our commitment to the game. And Quincy Doobie told me he only got it the next day as he was eating breakfast. He was sitting there and he was thinking, he's like, that's right. My commitment <laughs> to the game is the snake. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And so, I mean, it's just amazing how well coaches can communicate what they mean to communicate to players. Like, Henry, you've played with many coaches. Have you had any favorite coach moments? Uh, you know, I never had, never was one of those type of players where I needed somebody to motivate me. Just putting on a uniform and coming out that locker room and coming through the tunnel was motivation enough. You know, that's interesting because I remember the Kings were in a Game 7 situation. I asked one of the assistant coaches a couple of years back, you know, it's Game 7. Are you going to go in there? Is there going to be a fire and brimstone speech? Is it going to be a big thing? Wouldn't you expect as a fan, you'd think, there's going to be some win one for the Gipper oh, speech. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. They said, you know what, if it's Game 7 of the NBA playoffs, if you need someone to get you up, you shouldn't be there to begin with. Right. So it's interesting that you say you weren't a player that needed that. You would rather have more instruction, I'm guessing. Right. You know, right. Tell us where to be. Here, in the first half, we're going to make an adjustment here or there, right? That's right, because sure. I got myself up just putting on that uniform. I needed to win one for the Gipper. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, I actually talked to Reggie this morning via phone, and I said, okay, after these past two tough losses, what do you say to the guys today in the locker room? And he said, just very pointedly to me, guys, get your act together. That's it? Except he... Substituted some other words yeah. for guys yeah. and for acts. Now we're talking. <laughs> That'll that get him motivated. The gist. That was the gist of his uh, speech for the locker room. I love it. Angela Sai getting us inside the Kings locker room.